Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2021 Volkswagen Passat. And we're gonna do the front grille chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation. It's just a regular chrome panel. And this is how it looks after the installation. We use the gloss black material, that way it matches the color of the lower bumper. And it also gives it a more sportier look. If you like the product, link for the product will be linked below. But with that being said, let's just start with the installation video. So before starting with the installation, we need to make sure we prep the grill. So in order to prep it, all you need is water, baby shampoo mixed together inside a spray bottle. Once you have your spray bottle solution, spray it onto a clean mark for our town. And you're going to need to have the hood open in order to cover the inside of the chrome as well. So you want to clean everything that has chrome. And also don't forget about the chrome on the side where the headlight is located. And then once you're done cleaning the panel, make sure that everything's completely dry. That way, once we do the installation, the adhesive is able to stick to the panel more better because if there's still water residue left over and it touches the adhesive side of the film, the film is going to have a hard time tacking down since the surface is wet. So once you finish prepping the panel, we can start with the installation. So with this one, align the film to the edge of the panel here. And once you align it, make sure you're covering the chrome. So it has to cover the edge here and align it. And then make sure you're covering the chrome underneath here as well. So if you happen to have fingers like this, just make sure to lift the film carefully and readjust it to the edge. And then just follow the design of the chrome and it should come up to the edge here, until this section of the middle where the emblem is located. So make sure to keep it aligned and that everything is covered. And that should be good. Once you place the film, grab your squeegee and start tacking down the film. Make sure you remove all the air bubbles that are trapped behind the film. And then for this area on the curve, we're going to apply a little bit of heat just to help remove these fingers. So just apply heat to release the tension on the film so we don't crease it. So grab your heat gun, apply heat around the curved area. Let the film cool down, lift it, and with your fingers slowly, little by little, help it tack down. And then now we can use our squeegee to finish it off. Okay, and now we're just going to apply heat all over the panel. That way we help tack down the film more faster. And then after we finish applying heat, we're going to trim off all this excess material we do not need. So for this one, you can make an outline. There's a small gap between the panel and the grill. So just insert your blade and slowly, carefully trim off the excess material. And you would just go all around the panel. And then once you're done trimming the excess material, the same installation steps that were done for this side, you rinse and repeat to the other side. Okay, so now we're moving on to the next piece. So with this one, align it right on the edge here and just work your way to the other section of the panel. So align it there until you reach to the edge there. And on this curve here, all you need to do to remove any small fingers that you may come across is apply heat just to help the film form to the curve and then just apply heat to the rest of the panel. And then all we need to do once we finish applying heat is helping the film tack down to the chrome of the panel. And now that we're done, all we need to do is trim off the excess material. Basically the same steps that were done here, rinse and repeat for the last remaining two middle ones here. Since they have basically almost the same design, you just rinse and repeat, align it here, apply it, apply heat here to help it tack down around the curves, and then we'll trim off the excess material.
Okay, so once you finish these two pieces, now we can move on to the top piece here. So with this one, it's going to be a long piece that covers the top section here only. The only reason why we have the hood open is just to have more room to work with, but it's only going to cover this front panel and not what's inside here. So make sure to start off, align it on the edge and then just place the film down and use the body line to align it until you reach it to the other edge. Now that we place the film, we're slowly going to work our way on installing it. So what I mean by that is we may have to lift it again to readjust it. So just start tacking down the film and just make sure you remove all the air bubbles that are trapped behind the film. So make sure this whole flat area is tacked down first. That way we can work our way on each edge. So now lift the film carefully and we're going to apply a little bit of heat on this area because there is a curve on this section of the panel. So just apply a little bit of heat to help release the tension of the film and slowly start tacking it down, helping it form with the curve. And then we could apply more pressure to tack it down so it could look flat. And now with this section here, same thing, apply heat. So hold it with one hand help it release the tension, let the film cool off, and then slowly, little by little, help the film form into this curve here. And then the rest of this material will be excess material. We just gave you more material to work around the curve. That way, you don't have any fingers on the edges here. So just make sure this whole area is tacked down. And the same steps that were done here, you rinse and repeat to the other side. And then once everything has been tacked down, then we will trim off all this excess material. Okay, once you finish tacking on both sides, all we need to do is just finish off the edges underneath the panel. Make sure we're covering everything and then we'll trim off all the excess material right now. So for this one, the gap is underneath the panel. So for this one, just make sure you're covering everything and you trim off the excess material from underneath. So take your time, make the outline and then trim off the excess material. So once you finish installing this piece, we can move on to this section here now. So with this one, all you need to do, place the film, align it right on the edge. You can give yourself a little bit of more excess material to work with so you can have coverage on the edge. And carefully lift the film and just make sure you align it to the panel here. So make sure it's aligned and follow the design of the panel to your chair here. And if you need to lift and readjust it, you can. Take it easy, lift it carefully and just follow the design and it should be like that and now we're carefully going to start tacking down the film just make sure you remove any air bubbles that are trapped behind the film and then after that we will trim off any excess material we don't need so apply heat just to help the film tack down and now that the film has been tacked down now we can trim off the excess material. Mm -hmm. And then once you're done with all the trimming and you finish the installation on both ends, the last thing to do is to post seat the entire panel. So the last thing to do once you finish with the whole installation is to post seat the entire panel. So to post seat, all you need to do is just go all over the film and make sure you apply heat around the edges, in the middle, and on the curves as well. And if you see any film still lifting, applying heat will help the film tack down faster. And then once you're done with this step, you're done with the installation.
Thank you for choosing Bower Tech Design. As a small business, your support means everything to us. If you loved your product, please drop a review. If you have questions or issues, don't forget to message us via email. Once again, thank you so much for the support from our family to yours. Okay, so that concludes the installation video for the front grill chrome delete installation for the 2021 Volkswagen Passat. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.